Hello, thank you for joining me for day number 45 of 365 days of public speaking. My name is Daniel Yamentu. Today I'd like to speak to you about the PowerPoint one by one rule. Yesterday I spoke about the six by six rule and I said that the reason why a lot of people don't do so well with PowerPoint presentations is because they overload their slides with too much information. One of the ways to avoid that was I said to use a six by six rule or you can use the one by one rule. What does the one by one rule say? The one by one rule says that for every slide that you have in your slides deck, use at most one word and at most one image. Because it is a fact that people remember what they see in pictures. People speak in pictures, people listen in pictures, and people understand information in pictures. If you do have one image on a slide and you do have one word on a slide, it helps you reinforce that point in the audience's mem in the audience member's memory. For example, if you speak about fear and you have, for example, a bunch of things that you like to say about the topic of fear, it's going to make more impact if you do have, for example, an image of a child with the eyes big open, wide open, and the mouth like very scared, than for you to just have bullet points that says that speaks that describe the fear experienced by that child. That makes sense, right? If you do have a, a picture that 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 says that shows the emotion, it makes more impact than you describing the emotion on the slide. Always remember that every single time you prepare a presentation, and one of the tips I received recently by a fellow speaker was to use the full space available on the slide for the picture. If that is the only thing you have on the slide, blow it up. Get a picture of a good resolution, a picture that is not going to appear blurred if it is stretched, and cover the whole entire slide with it. That way you, it helps you make the impact that you want on your audience. Remember, people die, people die by PowerPoint, they experience death by PowerPoint because their slides are boring, because they have too much information on them. Follow the one by one rule and you're going to stay away from the cemetery of people who died through death by PowerPoint. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with me today and I'll see you again tomorrow.